everyone and their brother keeps going, Steve, how many second sight releases do you have? Do you have the Dawn of the Dead set? Do you have the Hitcher on pre-order? Do you have Martin? Do you have Texas Chainsaw Massacre? You know, it just keeps going on and on and on. People going, do you have it? Do you have it? And I'm just going to be the first one to tell you, I think Second Sight sucks. I think they're probably the worst of the boutique companies. And I think they really need to get their crap together. Because I'm sick of hearing about them. And I'm going to tell you why I have issues with them. So, I've mentioned this before, but, you know, these third world countries, you know, like this UK, it's not even like one you've heard of. Like, who's heard of the UK? Like, it's not like Britain or something, you know, it's not even like Canada. Heck, it's not even Mexico or China. It's like UK. Like, that's probably like right next to North Korea. Some garbage country. And, you know, everyone's just bragging about them, saying they put out these big, beautiful, deluxe, delicious sets. And they really don't. Yeah, the sets look nice. It comes with a book that you're not going to read. It comes with all these discs. But here's the thing. They sell a faulty product. Yes. So my Dawn of the Dead set, when I pulled it out, the 4Ks... They worked perfectly fine in my PS5. But when I put in that Blu-ray disc, it didn't work. You know, it's just like, let's pop in these special features discs just to see what they look like. You know, put on for five minutes, get bored, turn it off, take the disc out. Didn't even play. And I was shocked. You know... I've bought in so many garbage movies at Walmart over the years, so many Blu-rays, and they play perfectly fine in my player. But these Second Sight Blu-rays will not play in my PS5. You know, and I've tried multiple ones. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Martin, you know, the 4Ks, they all play fine. So I'm assuming they must be manufacturing those in the United States, which, why not get the Blu-rays manufactured here then? You know, and they just announced they're putting out Blair Witch, which is a super overrated movie, super not good. You know, they're not putting out Blair Witch 2, which Book of Shadows, everyone knows, is a superior product. But by God, no, it's on Blu-ray only. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, probably isn't even going to work. What's the point in buying it? Like, if the discs aren't going to work, because that's the thing, like... I keep most of my stuff sealed so that way like you know it doesn't you know not accumulate wealth but occasionally like you're like you get that morbid stupid curiosity and like you get drunk and you open them up and you're like well I've already opened it I might as well just pop it in and see how it looks make sure it's working and holy crap it makes me regret ever opening anything because again when I go to sell this stuff in three to five years if I don't know the disc work doesn't work, then no harm, no foul. Because whoever buys it probably isn't going to open it either. But now that I've opened it and tested it, now I know I have a junky, faulty product. So what do I do? So what I have to do now is commit myself to keeping that crap sealed. Anytime I get like these foreign releases now... I can't open them unless, like, I have heard assurance from people that I trust that the Blu-ray is going to work. Because, like I said, I've tried multiple releases with their Blu-rays, and the Blu-rays never work on my PS5. And, hey, you know, Second Sight, if you really want to get out of your little trench, out of your tiny little microscopic corner of the world, you might want to make sure they're going to work here in the big country of America. Because, again... The world revolves around us. It doesn't revolve around you. So quit being selfish. Quit trying to, you know, skim us collectors for everything we've got. Quit taking advantage of people. Make discs that work in the United States on the PS5. I don't know if, like, you guys have, like, some garbage Blu-ray players that somehow play these awful things, but there's no reason my video game console isn't playing this stuff. But anyways, guys, that's my rant. 
Second Sight needs to get their crap together. But comment down below. Do you think they're overrated like I do? Do you think that they need to get their heads out of their butt and do some quality assurance to make sure these Blu-ray discs actually work? And also where you're at it, make sure you like and subscribe. And hey, until next time, keep slipping.